In this video, I will be demonstrating the middle superior alveolar nerve block, or the MSA. The middle superior alveolar nerve block is going to anesthetize the mesial buccal root of the first molar along with the second and first premolars pulpal tissue, buccal tissue, and periodontium, uh, but does not get lingual anesthesia. So the first thing that we want to do, I'm just going to turn you slightly to the left, is we want to dry the tissue and remove any potential debris that might be at the site. So our site is going to be directly above the second bicuspid, the maxillary second premolar. And we want to just parallel our needle and barrel to the second premolar, and our point of penetration will be at the height of the mucobuccal fold. We may want to palpate for the zygomatic process to feel where that bone ends, because oftentimes that process can interfere with the injection if it comes uh, as far anterior uh, as the second bicuspid and, um, and it could be that we would hit the bone if we don't adjust our site of penetration. So I can feel uh, the zygoma bone here. Um, so I am just going to uh, come a little bit more anterior, anterior with my penetration point to avoid that zygoma bone. So once we have uh, dried the site and cleared off any debris um, with our glass, then we can go ahead and apply some topical anesthetic. So I'm just going to take my topical. I just have a very small amount here is all you need on a cotton tip applicator. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that at the site. So. Um, so here's our second bicuspid. I'm just going to parallel that and then apply my topical. And we want to apply that for about one to two minutes um, in order to allow for it to penetrate the tissue. Um, a topical will penetrate the tissue to a depth of about two to three millimeters just to help numb the area so that the penetration is not um, as detectable for our patients. So once that has set for one to two minutes, we'll remove the topical anesthetic and we can either rinse or we can take a gauze and just remove any excess from the site. I'm going to turn you away again. Okay, at this point, I just want to um, get good retraction uh, for my injection. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen my cap on my needle and then I'm going to get my retraction. Okay. And so again I palpated for that zygomatic process. I'm going to come a little bit more anterior with my injection. Turn just a little bit more and open just slightly for me. Okay. So again right above that second bicuspid into the height of the vestibule, and I'm going to penetrate about four to six millimeters, aspirate, aspirate, rotate and aspirate, and then I would deposit 0.9 to 1.2 milliliters, or half to two thirds of a cartridge. And that is the MSA.